Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be another vlog <laughs> about Minecraft. I just noticed my friend actually did a little overview head. That just made me laugh. I don't know why. Well, regardless, this is going to be another vlog while playing Minecraft, where I'll keep a video every single day. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, discussions, topics, anything that you may want me to talk about, feel free to actually comment down below. And if I actually use it, I'll credit you in the description, as well as that I'll credit you verbally in the video itself. But regardless, today I want to talk about YouTube poop. And I honestly find YouTube poop very, very entertaining. And what is this YouTube poop that you may ask if you have never seen it before? I'm pretty sure you have been to that weird side of YouTube, and a lot of them involves YouTube poop. And YouTube poop is basically people who basically edit sources together and try to make something out of it like they try to do some jokes or something like that they just makes it a completely random and even funny if they actually do it right and then there's a lot of YouTube poopers <laughs> it's just something you actually have I don't know why it's just kind of being immature here but there's a lot of YouTube people like that do a lot of YouTube poops and basically it is really entertaining to actually watch and I usually follow them subscribe to them and then I'm actually making a playlist of videos I find entertaining and a lot of that's gonna be full of YouTube poop because again I find that entertaining so one of the few people or several people that I would like to mention in this one even though there's a lot out there some of them are new some of them are pretty much like veterans in this thing and some of them I just never even heard of but I still look around and I usually go on a random video spree and just watch different types of videos and one of them was captain oh yeah and apparently if I'm not mistaken his video or yeah pretty much his video is pretty much the most watched YouTube poop on YouTube because his is YouTube poop pride patties which is basically a Spongebob YouTube poop that's a source and you just edit it together and make something fun out of it and so pride patties is with Spongebob of course and that pretty much already has like around 9 million views I remember when it was already barely at 1 million views but apparently more people are fronting about YouTube poops and then yeah it's been around for a while it just started off like an inside joke or some sort and then just expanded to another community there's a lot of people who love YouTube poops and there's a lot of people who love to make YouTube poops and it just basically expanded from there and I'm a person who enjoy it but I just can't be the person who edits because apparently editing will take a lot of time for me and yeah I just don't have the patience to edit those kind of things especially when I'm trying to make a video every single day I just won't have time to do that either oh well so basically all you need is just get some sources and basically make YouTube poop just edit things in make some jokes out of it either rather be like rewinding fast forwarding or anything like that then you put in some jokes every now and then some people know how to do it great some people just honestly just make it all random and it works for them in the end but it does require a lot of editing and that does take a lot of work and a, and a lot of time, talent to actually put all that editing in so Captain Oya oh yeah is just one of those people who have the 9 million views on the YouTube poop of Pride Patties. You can check that out. I'm just going to leave the names and the video as well as just the links to the videos if you want to check it out if you've never seen it before. Alright, moving on. Let's go to Mautendo. Mautendo does a lot of different YouTube poops, a lot of mute YouTube poop music videos, and a lot of editing. Excuse me. So, there's a lot of editing right there, especially like the one for Blocker Heaven, Terry Crews interview. Because Terry Crews is one of those well-known people who pretty much the commercials are all about editing. And then you take Terry Crews, you edit him into some other things. And what do you get? Some internet phenomenon and as well as internet YouTube poops. Because he's one of the popular choices to make YouTube poop music videos and then other YouTube poops. And this is one with Blocker Heaven, which is basically an edited version of the Rhythm Heaven, the interview. If you... I don't like the English version. I like the Japanese version way better, and then a lot of people made parodies of that. There's a bunch of different parodies on that. But, well, it looks like someone texted me. I'm just going to ignore that for now. But there's a lot of parodies, and Blocker Heaven is one of those parodies, and it features Terry Crews, and it's very, very entertaining. You should actually go watch it. So there's Mautendo with Blocker Heaven. You get to see all his other videos that he edits together, and he's one of the more advanced editors I've seen, so you can check that out. And Orpheus for a Win is one of those advanced editors as well, and he creates a lot of YouTube poops, whether it be different sources like Billy Mays, different sources of any other source, but we have Orpheus for the Win, and one of my favorites so far is a series of the 
Misadventures of Skooks. Right now I'm still waiting on part 4, but he's been really busy, so I'm not going to rush him on that. So, he has three parts out already, and I'm going to link you to the first part, which I completely find hilarious. I go back every now and then to actually look at it. And then we got Bifio. Yes, I think I pronounced his name correctly. I couldn't pronounce his name the first time, but Bafio is another person who makes YouTube poop music videos, and there's no background music. That's another type of YouTube poopers. That, oh my god, I'm so immature, but that's one of the other things that I actually really enjoy, that there's no background music. A lot of people who do YouTube, poop, YouTube poops actually do background music. That actually adds into it, but if you're able to actually have no background music, that takes a little bit more talent to actually be trained on the ear of how the notes are going and how everything's set up. And he's Bafio is one of those guys, and he actually uses the Four Peters. If you actually remember the Four Peters in one of these episodes, I can't remember what episode it was, but it's in the Family Guy episodes, of course, and they shows the quartet of Peters doing the infamous song. I can't remember what that song is either. Wow. But he uses that source, and he's able to make a lot of no background music YouTube poop music videos, and one of them is Random Tetris. He titles all his rent his YouTube poops with the four Peters random and then something else but there's random Tetris so you basically hear Tetris and the sound of the four Peters and there's a link to that in the description below too and then we have CS188 he does a lot of YouTube poops he has a second account with archives of all the other YouTube poops that he makes but mainly he's going now to pretty much YouTube poops of pretty much well known or pretty much mainstream songs and he makes YouTube poop music videos out of there with a lot of splicing, a lot of wordplay and everything like that and he basically puts out all together and then I'm pretty much going to link you guys to Pooping the Charts where he takes a lot of mainstream artists' songs and then just edits them together and it makes makes fun about out of all of them and then you may have already seen his Gondam style or his What's it called? Gautier, somebody I used to know, YouTube poop, which is very entertaining itself, which got millions of views as well. And so there you go. And then we got Dur. I can't rem no know if I could actually pronounce this correctly. Durham Rocker Z. Basically, he makes YouTube poops of King of the Hill. He always, he's already made YouTube poops of everything else, but he's doing King of the Hill now, which is pretty much a great source to actually make fun of with all the things that they have in the show already. So basically, I'm just gonna link you to his first YouTube poop, I believe, which would be the first King of the Hill YouTube poop that he has made. So pretty much that's all there is to it. It's just again, YouTube poop is taking sources, whether it be a well-known source, a source to be ma made fun of, or I don't know honestly where do they find these sources. But apparently, it's within the community that they find these sources and they share it with everybody else who makes YouTube poop. And then from there, they just edit it together, whatever or however they want. And then there you go, YouTube poop gold. So it's very very entertaining to me at least. I don't really have that much of an immature humor depending on how the video is made but I can't stop laughing at whenever I say YouTube poopers. I don't even think that's actually the right word for it. But regardless I'm pretty sure that you guys have already seen YouTube poop at least once in your lifetime on YouTube. Whether it be from a missed stumble onto a random video. You see a recommended video you go over there and then it turns out to be a YouTube poop and then you just leave that video because it was just too random or you just didn't like it at all. But those are the main people that I've seen so far. There's other people I forget to mention, but yeah, these are the only ones I can think of from the top of my head. And every now and then I actually go back to their videos, I subscribe to them, and then check out their videos from there on. So, if you're a person who actually have more knowledge of YouTube poop or have actually looked at YouTube poop, who are the people that you find entertaining and which one do you actually go back to actually find? Or which one have you recently stumbled upon? Or what other things that you have seen that you'd like to know? Or what one... Which one was your favorite YouTube poop if you're a person who likes YouTube poop? So, yeah, poop everywhere. We're talking about poop, and we're talking about YouTube poop. So, yeah. Well, I don't know. It's just that it's one of these things I wanted to talk about because YouTube poop is getting more and more recognized to this day. Back then, it was kind of like an underground thing. Like, not many people do it, but a lot of people start doing it now, and more people are enjoying making these videos because all it is is just basically, again, taking sources and just editing it together to make jokes out of it, make it funny, make it random, make it stupid, depending on how you do it. And there's a lot of them out there, and there's more coming out, as well as the YouTube poop music videos that I really, really enjoy. And I really enjoy watching them. And yes, again, I have a playlist of 
I'm starting a playlist of just basically videos I find entertaining, whether it be YouTube poop or something else. But I'm just gonna continue on adding videos to that playlist. So if you ever see a playlist and you see that there's a YouTube poop in there, don't be surprised. I really find them entertaining. Some of them make me laugh so hard, some of them don't. But it's still entertaining to actually watch in the end. So, yeah. If you're a person who likes YouTube poop, who are one of these people? If you've ever seen them before, who do you like? What their video is your favorite? Or, yes, what video is your favorite? And basically, recommend me some other YouTube poopers that are out there. Wow, I'm so immature in this video. Oh, well. So, right now, you can see that I'm still working on the skylight. My friend's working on different tunnels because he doesn't want to go to the skylight because it's way too laggy for him every time he goes in there. We're still waiting on the, for the patch update of Minecraft so that once we get that out of the way, then we won't have to worry about the lag until the next update of title update number 8, which we're going to have the end. And I hopefully I'm going to make another series on rather than, no, wait, other than Operation Bedrock, I'll make another survival series than that we could get more videos going. I still gotta make videos every single day. I still gotta get my live stream account going. I'm still waiting on the HD PVR 2. And then the school is gonna be here in about another two weeks. So I'm gonna be busy from then on. I've only invited like five new people and I apologize for not inviting you guys soon. Exalio, I still need to invite you. I apologize for that too. And yeah, that's the updates for Minecraft. Just gotta wait till the updates are finally here. I'll be able to cover that and then we'll move on with our lives and then yeah. Hopefully one of these days that Xbox 360 are finally going to get the mods and then I can do mod reviews and have fun with that too. Get more variety. And I got to ask you guys this question. Would you actually care if I actually make other videos other or make videos other than Minecraft videos? Because this is one of the things I want to know. I may make another video on this by, on itself because I keep going on random tangents and sometimes I kind of forget what I talked about the other day and just come back to the topic that I want to talk about. So would you guys actually mind if I actually start making other commentary videos on different video games? I want to make more variety, but at the same time, I know that basically Minecraft is my comfort zone and basically a lot of people like watching my Minecraft videos more than any other videos I produce. So I just didn't want to have that feeling like no one's going to watch my other videos if it's not Minecraft related. So I need to know from you guys, would, would you guys mind that I actually make other video game commentaries other than Minecraft. So that I could probably do some Call of Duty, I could probably do some Counter-Strike, I could possibly do Borderlands, other games that are coming out, other games that I want to buy, other games you probably have never even heard of. So I just wanted to know. So yes, today, I, this is just a YouTube poop video type of deal. I like YouTube poop, I find them hilarious, I may be immature at times, but who is it at these days? You gotta have some fun at once in a while. So, yeah. There's nothing really else for me to say, honestly. It's just I'm running out of time and I got another 30 seconds to go. So I'm just gonna mine this iron, get rid of the other stuff that I need to go grab, anyways. And then there's two creepers over there. I see them. I see their feet. Okay. Oh, look, another creeper spawn. Hello, creeper. I love you. I'm gonna kill you now. I'm gonna kill you with kindness and the diamond sword, and now you're on fire. Alright. So, there are the creepers. They're on fire, and they're going to die. Well, that's the end for this video. Hopefully you enjoy, and if you have any other questions or anything that you want me to talk about, be feel free to actually comment down below. But until then, I am SorkingZaran0. Have a nice day, everybody, and I will see you in the next video.